everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on today's video. So this feels so old school, I cannot even begin to tell you, like when was the last time I sat on my bed and filmed a haul for you guys? Like, I haven't done this since I was a lot younger, but I went shopping this morning and over the last like couple of days I've been buying stuff for my holiday because I'm going on holiday in like less than a week now as I'm currently filming this. Um, well actually it's like pretty much exactly a week. So I've been trying to get a few last minute bits because none of my bikinis fit from previous summers um, and I just don't have like the outfits that I'm envisioning for the holiday and for like Instagram pics and stuff. And I also just wanted like some new accessories and some new bits. So I've been buying stuff over the last couple of days and I also went into town this morning and did a lot of damage to my bank card. So yeah, I thought I would sit down and do a really old school video and show you guys what I've been buying. Um, so we've got everything in this humongous bag. What a throwback, hey, a little Primark haul. I mean, it's not all Primark and it's definitely not little, um, but I'm just gonna jump in. There's just a few things I wanna share with you guys and I thought you might. Who is messaging me? My mother. Any luck with your shopping? Yes, mum. I'll reply in a minute. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. I thought you guys might wanna see some of these bits. Um, there are a few things I did get in an ASOS order as well, which I'm gonna show you in this video. Some of it, wasn't very good so I'm not going to show you that I'm only showing you the bits that I'm actually going to keep um so the first thing is this cute little bikini top which I am actually still a little bit undecided about um let me just put the straps back on because I've actually taken them off it's just very small that's the that's the main issue here um it is tiny and it honestly squishes my boobs to big fat nothing so um yeah but I'm just gonna go with that vibe do you know what I mean I haven't got boobs so I'm just gonna embrace it it's this cute little um, bikini top from Monkey. How cute. And then you can take the straps off so it's just like a little bandeau. Um, the only issue is it was in the sale. So they didn't have any matching bottoms. Um, so today, oh, they don't actually, no, these don't match. I found some in H&M that I bought, which were also in the sale. And I thought they might match it, but actually, oh, I don't know. I'll have to try it on together, but the colour's a bit off, like... Would we accept that? Could that pass as a matching two piece? I don't know, I'm gonna have to try it on. But those bikini bottoms were also in the sale in H&M. They were only three pounds, which I thought was really good. So anyway, that's my first bikini. My second bikini is also ASOS, but it is not actually ASOS own brand. It is from Daisy Street Swim, which I haven't heard heard of before. This one was also in the sale actually um, on ASOS and it is super cute. It's like a little checkered, blue bikini with pink straps and then it's got little bows on it which does kind of make it look a bit like underwear but i'm feeling it i feel like it's a cute vibe and then these are the bottoms that go with it super like high-waisted um but yeah i just thought this was a cute little bikini and i'm trying to get like some blue in here because i'm going to greece i'm going to mykonos for those of you that don't know so i'm imagining like blue outfits like just such a vibe um, anyway, this is also blue. This is from Zara. I got it in the sale the other day. It was 15 99 down from 20 um, And it's one of these cute little bodysuits and it's got the little like angel print all over it um, Which I just thought was really cute and I thought that would be cute tucked in to this which is from ASOS um, ASOS design Little white skirt looks like a cute skirt, but it's actually a skirt which we love. I'm not a skirt person I just don't like I don't feel very comfortable in a skirt. I always feel like I'm gonna flash my bum. So a skirt is definitely the way forward. So that's one cute evening outfit or maybe day outfit actually, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, I then got this in H&M today, which was in the sale for five pound. A little beach bag, which I desperately wanted. Um, and I couldn't make my mind up which one. And I thought, well, this one's only five pounds. So I'm just gonna get it. Um, I just thought it would be cute to take to the beach. Then I got this, which is for an evening outfit. I haven't actually decided if I'm gonna keep this yet, um, just because I need to figure out the bra situation, because if I can't wear a bra with it, then I can't wear it, because it just does absolutely nothing for me. Um, but the actual dress I love, it's like a little strappy blue and green ruched dress, and it does make my figure 
look ever so nice it's really like flattering on my figure and i do really really love it but it's just the top bit is a bit funny so i need to figure out a bra situation um also this was only 14.99 it was in the sale and i got a size six so yeah honestly guys i've said this before and i say it again quiz have really really nice dresses and play suits i got my outfit for my friend sean's wedding in there um and yeah they do really really nice outfits in there so definitely check out quiz right next up we've got some bits from Superdrug. i went a bit mad and just bought loads of like beauty bits essentially um i don't even really need half of this but anyway First thing, Bondi Sands Lip Balm SPF 50 Coconut Sand. I thought that would be really good. I wanted to get a lip balm that had SPF in it just because I just apply normal lip balm whenever I'm on holiday and I just feel like that's not good. Like you can still burn your lips. So I got that and then picked up a fake tan to try. This is the St. Moritz Tanning Mousse in the shade Light. My friend Georgie uses this tanning mousse and she said it's really good. So I thought I'd give it a go because I've almost ran out of my other tan. Um, I picked up this because... This reminds me of my friend Hayley. She always uses this moisturiser and this is going to sound so weird. She probably isn't watching this, but if she is, she's going to be like, what the hell? This moisturiser reminds me of her and I feel like she always has like hydrated looking skin, which is such a weird thing to say about someone. But I saw it and I thought I'm going to give that a go because I've never tried it before. So yeah, it's like an intensive body moisturiser. Probably a bit too big to take away with me, but I thought I could use it leading up to the holiday. Um, I got another one of these little super drug body sprays, which I've used before and I really, really love. I got Paradise, smells pretty good. Um, it was a bit citrusy, which I thought would be nice for holiday. But these are literally only like 2 99 and they're really good body sprays. So highly recommend those. And then it was uh, buy one get one half price on Maybelline and I really wanted to try this lip product which I'd seen on TikTok. It's called their Lip Vinyl. I'm not going to lie, it was expensive. It was like 11 or £12, pounds, which is quite a lot. Um, I got it in the shade, oh god, I got it in the shade Peachy and it's essentially like a lip gloss but it doesn't transfer. So it's like a really pigmented lip gloss that gives you colour but then once it's dry it doesn't transfer onto like glasses and stuff if you're like eating and drinking but it still looks shiny. And I saw a TikTok and I was like, right, I'm buying that. Um, so I got that and then it was buying it on half price. So I got a mascara, I got Maybelline Lash Sensational, which is also such a throwback because I haven't used this mascara in years, but I thought I'd give it a go. Um, right, lovely. Next up we have a Primark. Now, I did go a bit mad in Primark, I'm not gonna lie. Um, first things first, I picked up a little pair of one pound flip flops because I'm going on holiday, so I thought they might come in handy, so I've got those. Um, I then got this dress, which is absolutely stunning, I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't 100% decided if I'm going to keep it yet, just because I'm not planning on taking heels on holiday. Like, I was literally just going to take, um, like, a pair of sandals and trainers, because I don't really have any heels that I like or that are comfortable and I feel like Mykonos is going to be very hilly so I don't want to wear shoes that are going to give me blisters and this dress I feel like doesn't go with trainers I feel like it only looks nice with a pair of heels so yeah I'm yet to decide if I'm going to keep it but it is this gorgeous long tight fitting dress I don't really know how to describe this colour it's like a bluey greeny grey browny sort of colour but it just looks so nice and I tried it on and it did fit really, really well. Um, and this was quite a good price to be fair for Primark. What was it? Was it a good price? Yeah, £16, which I feel like isn't too bad for a dress. Um, and I just, I do really like it. It makes me feel very bougie and I want to feel bougie when I go to Mykonos. So I might take it, I might not. I'll have to just see near the time. Um, I then picked up this. I really wanted a little white shirt just to throw on over bikinis. So I got a little white shirt, which was also £16, which I feel like is quite expensive for a shirt, but it does feel like nice material. It's a nice like cotton. So I'll be able to like, I won't get too hot and stuff in it. So yeah, I got that. Um, and then I got some new PJs because I thought I want a new little pair of PJs to take on holiday. Um, I just got the little like shorts and vest top combo. So I got the little grey vest and then I got grey shorts as well. These are super cheap and I just thought they'd be cute. And I just love getting new pyjamas. Like it's honestly my guilty pleasure. Um, I got some accessories. I got this claw clip. Oh my God, don't, oh, I thought it was broken. Um, this claw clip, which is just like mermaid vibes, like how cute is that? And it was only £2.50, so I got that. I then got this, which is like a little um, thing you put on your sunglasses, and I thought that looked very Greek, so I got that. 
think we've got two pairs of sunglasses or no just the one um this little tortoise shell pair i didn't even really try them on i just thought they looked like they could be a vibe but i felt like an idiot trying them on in the shop do you know what i mean about that like it gives me the ick the thought of trying on sunglasses in a shop and being like oh do i look good so i thought I'm just going to get them. They're only £2, uh, £3.50. And then I got this, which... Just some little hair bands. I thought these could be quite cute when I'm, like, doing my makeup and stuff in the evening. Just push my hair back. Maybe the pink one is a little vibe. I don't know. I thought they'd be cute. And then I got two sets of underwear. The first one is this little green one, which I basically have in every single colour now. And I saw a green one and I thought, I need it. It's just a little, like thong and bra set and they're only six pounds and I love them and I wear them every single day so I got a green one and then I saw this which I thought was quite cute um it's very similar but it's got like a bit of a stripey pattern thing on it and it's a little blue one and I just thought that was cute and that also comes with matching pants although they look a bit like little boys pants don't they so um I'm not sure what they're gonna look like on but anyway that is everything I picked up in town today and everything I've got over the last few days trying to figure out stuff for my holiday. But yeah, you will also be pleased to know, guys, well, hopefully be pleased to know that I am going to be vlogging my trip to Mykonos with my friends. So that video will be coming out very soon for you guys. I go away on the 10th and we go away for four nights. So yeah, it will be up in like a couple of weeks, but I'm hoping to get some good content and just film a really cute video for like me and my friends to look back on, but also for you guys to enjoy as well. There'll be like recommendations of where to eat and stuff like that on there and our honest review of Mykonos because none of us have been there before and I've always wanted to go. I'm so excited. So yeah, thank you for watching this little haul. Let me know what your favourite piece was that I bought and I will see you guys next time with another video. Goodbye.